Oh, hi there. I'm just finishing up the calibration process to see if I'm a viable candidate for the exciting new technology known as experiential reality. You might be thinking, you want me to walk around with that monstrosity wrapped around my head? Not at all. This device facilitates the process of technologically enhanced, neurally transmitted approximation calibrated utilizing latent augmented reality, or tentacular. This technical analysis is conducted to determine the specimen, <laughs> the user's compatibility for future permanent implementation of experiential reality. So what exactly is experiential reality? This bleeding-edge technology advances beyond the audio-visual elements of virtual reality and augmented reality to activate other sensory responses and minimize the dissonance between the virtual and the user's experience of reality, all without the need to peer through a screen or wear an external device. Ready to find out if experiential reality is right for you? Let's get started with Tentacular. A soluble temporary microchip which will initiate the calibration process must be consumed to instigate this engagement. The user must make a very important decision. Strawberry or blueberry. Although there is a pleasant taste, it is imperative to resist consumption until the device has been activated. The subject, <coughs> the participant, will engage with a series of interactions by using hand gestures to select virtual objects, indicated by their purple color. Please be aware that some participants may be sensitive to visual latency, distortion, and rapid lighting changes. The calibration of hand gestures may also be unstable throughout this process. To mitigate these effects, the user may lower their arms and slowly raise them back into vision until an outline appears. Please refrain from rapid movements and remember that the effects of this process are irreversible and may be forever ingrained in the user's mind. The user may indicate that they are prepared to proceed by placing the microchip at the base of their brain. Let us begin. You may now chew and ingest the tiny brain.